cash flows on a BA2 plus. We're still on question one from lesson 18. And we're gonna go over the same business that we've been looking at, but this time we're gonna use a BA2 plus. I've gone ahead and copied over both our timeline and our balance sheet, all of our cash flows. One thing I'm gonna note is I'm gonna make use of the fact that this happens four times. We have four different $20,000 cash flows. The first thing we're gonna do is go into our cash flow worksheet. We just press the CF or cash flow button. What you'll see often is all the things you had in a previous question. So every time you do this, the first thing you're gonna do is go second, clear. That's important so that we don't end up with this things from our previous example hanging out inside the worksheet. So we have to clear it. Once we have things in this cash flow, we'll be able to find the net present value and IRR that are next to it. So let's put in our cash flows. And an important thing is that negatives are negative and positives are positive. CFO means cash flow at time zero. That here was $70,000. And I'm putting in that negative and I'm pressing enter. So let's write down what I put in, 70,000 enter. And the enter is really important. Our next cash flow, CO1, was $20,000. Enter. And that happened many times. So that's something neat to note. The calculator lets us do that. So the frequency is four. So I'm gonna press enter. So what that says is at time zero, we paid negative $70,000. At time one, we got $20,000. That happened four times in a row. And that's all that we need for this example. We're gonna be looking at more of these. Now I'm gonna to go to the net present value button because we've asked for the net present value. So I press NPV and now it says I equals, well I here is going to be my minimum annual rate of return. It was 10 in our problem. So I'm gonna put 10 enter to show that it's 10. I'm gonna scroll down and I get to NPV, and all I do is press compute. CPT, compute, and now I get an answer. That was negative $6,602.69, exactly what we came up with earlier. Very useful. Next, we're gonna go into this IRR, or internal rate of return. We press IRR, then we press compute. It's the opposite of the TVM worksheet, which is a little irritating, but it is what it is. We press compute and we find out that our rate of return is 5.56%. So that's the return we're getting. If the net present value was 5.5, sorry, if the, net, if the minimum annual rate of return was 5.56378463737%, then our net present value would be zero.